Hello, welcome to another practical chess position. Uh, in this position, it's white to play and move. Wait, white to play and move. It's always white to move when it's white to play. White to play and play a good move. Um, and as always, pause your video, try to figure out what you would do, then unpause when you're ready, and you can compare your thought process to mine. All right, so what the heck's going on here? Black's king looks a little shaky. Um, first move that jumps out at me is e4, like completely jumps out at me as the right move because, I'm sorry, I'm in e5, and with the idea of clearing the e4 square for my my knight. I mean, like if, if queen takes, it's queen f3, looks winning. If knight takes, this move looks virtually crushing. I mean, just opening up the king side big time. I mean, for example, even this move, attacking the rook. Let's say the rook, if the queen takes the rook, rook g1, and if the rook moves, it's just this. I mean, look at this disaster looking thing. How e5 just looks so obvious to me, like, hard to believe it's not the right move. I just. I, right, let's see, does, does black have any ideas there that make any sense? I don't know, I can't imagine that it's just not e5. I, mean, I can see one thing, but no, I don't I don't see any real serious defense for for black there. I'm just gonna go e5. It said I'm wrong. Alright. See these puzzles are tricky, man. When it looks too obvious, it usually is. And to me this move just looks so obvious. Why is it wrong? I want to get I want to get to the bottom of this now. God, it looks so strong. How can it be wrong? I mean, probably there's just something better that I'm failing to notice. Uh, there's, either that, or there's just something wrong with the move. So crazy, because it just looks so, so strong. Oh my god. Well, I'm going to look up the answer. I can't quite figure out why it's not strong. First, I'm going to turn on Houdini. So interesting. Um, it's, <laughs> what a jerk puzzle. It says a simple exchange of queens is correct. Queen takes, bishop takes. Bishop g2, also not bad as rook takes d6. Stupid tricky puzzle, man. Uh, and then if like knight h4, e5. Huh. With with some nice ideas, this bishop opening up in the rook. And white has a nice position here. This pawn restricts the king. The point is after e5, it's as tempting as e5. Uh, all the captures are bad, but queen f4 with the idea of queen a4. What a jerk! I didn't see queen a4, really, Greg? Ugh! I saw queen f4 and I just like, whatever, it doesn't do anything. But it creates counterplay. Sucks to be me. Hmm. So basically, the whole point of the puzzle is simply. Don't go e5. Don't get tempted by this because black gets counterplay. Instead, go for the simple endgame. And rook takes d6 is white is better. And bishop g4. g2, sorry. White is better after e5. Very tough puzzle. I bet a lot of you were tempted by e5 just as I was. Um, and I should have known because these puzzles... Usually when something's that obvious to me, like... Like, especially a tactical sharp move like that, usually there's something I'm missing, and I just couldn't, I couldn't fight a little, a little more to find the problem with it, and I just, I was just only looking at the captures. And like I said, if pawn takes, knight e4 is good, if knight takes, knight e4 is good, and if queen takes, we take the knight. But this very nice move, just ignoring the, the idea, with the idea of queen a4, and, uh, you know, according to, 
Houdini, it thinks that the position's about even now. Queen a4 is a serious threat. So, very good puzzle. Um, it's good because it's so easy. Actually, it thinks white's better, but it, it requires some fancy footwork to find the right moves. So, I, I forget what it said. What is this saying here is a good move? Oh, no, it doesn't think white's better. I changed my mind. Or Houdini changed its mind. But these puzzles are good because there's that tempting move, and I just should have been a little more uh, circumspect, circumspect before I just jumped right into making it. Dvorsky is very tricky. He knows what moves you're tempted to make, what good players... Like, this is a move that's tempting to a master, not just anyone who sees the position. But to me, like, instantly, I want to play it. And he's just sitting there tricking me, you know? Uh, the computer thinks bishop b5 is still good for white, uh, it turns out. Because if knight takes e5... Um, it says something like rook on d to g1, and white has a, a nice attack. But this is hard to find. Whereas, after queen takes queen... Um, bishop takes queen. Houdini does believe we just have a, a nice clear advantage after e5, like like mentioned earlier. And like, this position is just nice for white. And we're, we're attacking this pawn also, restricting the king. And we're threatening ideas like rook g1, and if the knight moves, discover checks with our knight. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys got this right, if you saw why e5 was not that great, you get many gold stars. If you didn't look at e5 at all, then you got some. You got to um, get your used to some typical attacking patterns and clearance ideas, like you're trying to clear the e4 square for the knight. But big props to anyone who saw this move and didn't play it because of queen f4. Very nicely done. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a new month. And we're going to go to a new book. I think one of Jacob Agard's books again. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.